from a chemical perspective, one of the best ways to delay weeds developing resistance to herbicides is to select a program that has herbicides from multiple groups or sites of action. This chart was developed by Extension Weed Scientist in the Midwest as a tool to help select herbicides that have different sites of action. Today we're going to walk through how to read the chart briefly. If you do not have a copy of the herbicide classification chart, there's a few places you can find it. One of those is our website, weedscience.missouri.edu. If you go to that page, scroll down on the left side and click on Publications. It'll take you to some of our current publications. On the far right of that top row is the herbicide classification chart. Okay, now we have a full copy of the chart up on the screen. And what you can see is that on the left side of the chart are where we talk about the group numbers and really break down what they mean and have products that each have one site of action or one group number in those products. On the right side of the chart we have premixes, so herbicides that are on the market that might have multiple, that do have multiple groups or sites of action present in them. We're going to work through the left side of the chart first, and I'm going to work from outside in. So if you look at the far right column of the chart, you will see product examples that you're probably familiar with, their trade names. For instance, if you scroll down, you can see Roundup and Touchdown are products with glyphosate in them. Um, and you can also see that Roundup and Touchdown are examples of group 9 herbicides. So if you look at that far left, the number in the circle is a group number and that group number is associated with a site of action. So you don't always have to remember the long site of action names, you can go by group number. And the neat thing is that many herbicide labels, such as this example of Roundup Weather Max, now have the group numbers written directly on the labels. Okay, so we have group nine is represented by the EPSPS synthase inhibitors and Roundup and Touchdown are two glyphosate products that are examples of group 9 herbicides. Okay, but let's look at another group. So if you look, go up and look at the group 2 herbicides, another common one, these are the ALS inhibitor herbicides. And you can see there are many additional herbicides within this group. The middle number between the site of action and the chemical groups tells you how many weeds have resistance to that species. So you can see that 47 different weed species in the U.S. are resistant to ALS inhibitor herbicides. Um, similarly, 15 different weed species are resistant to the group 9 herbicides or glyphosate herbicides. Okay, so that's how you read the left side um, briefly. Now again, on the right side, those are premixes or herbicides that have multiple active ingredients and in many cases have multiple groups of action or sites of action, such as Acuron, which is just the first example at the top, which has four different active ingredients, but you can see it has three different groups or sites of action within the product. Again, this has just been a brief overview of how to read the herbicide classification chart. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our Facebook page. And if you need to obtain a copy of the chart, you can find one on our website as well as other websites or contact your extension professionals.